Hey, FCF, we're taking day two in our journey this weekend, and we're going to look at the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 2, and our heading is, is Be Like-Minded. Uh, Paul, writing to the followers of Christ living in Philippi, he says, Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. So here is Paul being very transparent and saying, you, you really want to make me happy, essentially. He's saying, he's saying, if you want to know what gives joy to my heart, when I see a gathering of believers that are like-minded, they're one in mind, they're one in heart, they're one in love, they're one in spirit. Now, we have to understand the context of, of this statement. He is not saying that a diverse community of people are going to think the same way, have the same tastes, have the same ways of um, handling circumstances. We're, we're all different. We all come from different backgrounds. The diversity is frankly something that, that makes for uh, a beautiful depiction of Christ when we all unite together. So what is he talking about? Think in terms of of something like uh, a team, a sports team, or think in terms of something like an orchestra with you know multiple pieces of instruments and so forth. They're all playing different, uh, different instruments. They're all playing different parts, but they're all on the same page. They're, they're playing the same piece of music, and, and they're all doing their parts so that together something beautiful comes out. Likewise, likewise with the team. Um, each team player, let's take a football team, they each have assignments on every play, but they're also carrying out a play, a, a unified cooperative strategy. So when Paul is here saying be like-minded, let me read it to you again. He says, make my joy complete. He lets it be known vulnerably that this really moves his heart when he sees this. Being like-minded, <clears throat> having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. He's essentially talking about their devotion to Christ and the purposes that God has for his people while on this planet, that we're going to do everything we can to maximize, to concentrate, to focus on the things we agree on, that we have in common, the things that help us to work together, stay together. And we're going to remind ourselves we love the same Lord. We're living for the same Lord. We're, we're living by the same set of kingdom values. We want to see the message of Christ reach as many as is possible. Therefore, we want to do everything we can to present Christ to others in a way that's going to be attractive to them. And so we're going to do all that we can to keep peace amongst ourselves. We're going to overlook, you know, some of our faults and flaws and, and you know, f funny, you know, personality traits that we have. And we're going to try to stay unified the best we can. So this is something we, we can do, and God calls us to do it. Be like-minded and to stay unified with one another for the sake of Christ. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.